How's it going guys? Leon here and today I'll be teaching you guys some tips, tricks, and hacks as to how to make your architectural student life a little bit easier. Let's go! Tip number one or technique number one. So I call this technique the paper scale technique. So basically what you need to have is a scale and a piece of paper, it could be scrap or a new paper, doesn't matter. What you are going to do is you determine the most used measurement that you used all throughout your plate. So for me, that is the measurement of the walls and the measurement of the columns. So take that measurement and then transfer that onto your piece of paper. So now that you have transferred that, you don't have to look at your scale all the time looking for the specific measurement of the walls and the columns. So this technique has saved me a bunch of time. Especially when I'm rushing, because I'm always rushing when I was when I was in architecture school. I don't know why. Tip number two. So tip number two is for those of you out there who are constantly mounting and dismounting your plates on and off your drafting table. Okay, so one thing I hate about dismounting and mounting my plates onto the drafting table is that the edges or the corners of your plate tend to rip and then it's like fibery stuff come out of the edges because of the points where the scotch tape used to be. So the scotch tape constantly removes a bunch of paper from your plate and then eventually there's no more corner left on your plate. So what you do is you take a piece of tape and then cut it in half. After you've cut it in half, put it on the corner of your plate. So every time you mount and dismount your plates from the drafting table, you aren't ripping your paper. It's basically it's tape on tape contact. So you're safe. Tip number three. So have you ever drafted and then you look at your plate and magically there's some sort of smudge or dirt on your plate? That is probably caused by random rogue pencil dust pixies. To avoid that, I discovered this technique where you put a bunch of tape on the corners of your drafting instrument. So you get tape and then you get a piece of paper or preferably thicker than paper like a cardboard and then tape it onto the edges of your drafting tool. So what that does is those things act as some sort of foot if you will for your drafting instrument so that the contact between your drafting instrument and your plate is minimized thus minimizing the magical pixie black dirty dust thingy on your plate surface tip number four so this tip is for those of you guys who are always rushing i know i was always rushing in college anyways so when you're rushing you really don't have time to look at your tech pen and check what type of line weight it is so here's what you do you get yourself some colored tape right here and then mark each pen with the corresponding color. That way, every time you look at your pencil case, you already know what line weight that specific color is, thus saving you a bunch of time. Okay, tip number five. So this tip is one of my most heavily guarded secrets. So here's what you need. You're going to need a ball of alcohol, preferably rubbing alcohol, then some cotton, and a printer. Okay, so here's what you do. You get the image that you are going to reproduce. Get it from Google or Wikipedia or whatever source you want. Okay, so now that you have got your image, bring it to Photoshop and then flip it, print it out. And then after you have printed it, lay it face down on your plate and then begin dabbing it on the back with alcohol. So what this is going to do is it's going to transfer the printer ink onto your plate, thus creating the illusion that you have watercolor rendered on your plate. The only thing that's left to do is to draw out the outlines, put some shading with some pencil and then boom! You are done. 20 to 30 minutes stops, you already made some sort of picture of the Taj Mahal or something. This is not advisable for those of you who have a lot of time. Only use this forbidden technique when the time is tight and you really have no choice. But if you have a lot of time to do your plates, I suggest that you do it because painting and drawing is a lot of fun. So this is just a last resort. Use it wisely. Also, don't share this video to the teachers because they might discover that you did this and you know this. The last tip of all is the most unusual technique that I have used. It's not really a drafting tip, but an overall architectural or engineering school technique. So this technique is called my all-in-one guitar bag technique. Pretty self-explanatory. What you have to do is just buy an electric guitar bag, or if you want a larger carrying capacity, buy an acoustic guitar bag. So why did I come up with this technique? When I was in first year, I really had a bunch of trouble carrying my T-square and then a bunch of rolls of vellum and some tracing paper. So. I was really annoyed by how many stuff I had to carry as an architecture student. So there was this time I went inside the Jeep and then I hit someone in the face with my T-square and the whole time I was riding the Jeepney, they was giving me the stinky eye and I was like, oh hell no, I don't want this happening to me again. So the minute that I got home, I looked for a bag that was super long, like a duffel bag. And to my disappointment, I found no such thing. So disappointed, I went back to my room and then I looked over the corner and I saw my electric guitar in its guitar bag case and I said, hmm, 
I wonder, could the T-square fit inside the electric guitar bag? When I put my T-square inside of the bag, it was like exactly the size of the T-square. So yeah, from then on, I began carrying my T-square and my rolls of vellum and tracing paper inside the guitar bag. Okay, so with that said, this was my six tips, tricks, hacks, shamboozles, shambablabies, whatever you want to call it, as to how to make your architectural student life a little bit easier. If you found this video interesting or just a little bit educational, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe down below for more architectural tips, tricks, hacks, shamboogles, shambablabies from me, your boy Lee, and I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace!